Has humanity really been to the moon? With conspiracy theories buzzing louder than ever, let's investigate. Spoiler alert, we did go. First piece of evidence, moon rocks. The Apollo missions brought back 842 pounds of lunar material. Rocks, dust, you name it. These aren't like any rocks you'd find on Earth. They contain isotopes that are absent from our planet and show signs of formation in a zero atmosphere environment. Second clue, seismometers. The Apollo missions left seismic equipment on the lunar surface. When meteorites hit the moon, these devices recorded the tremors. Hard to argue with that, unless those sneaky Martians went and planted them for us. Next up, let's not forget about those reflectors. We left some fancy mirrors on the moon, which reflect lasers shot from Earth. By measuring the time it takes for the light to travel back, we can calculate the distance to the moon. These reflectors have been providing data since 1969. Lastly, do you really think the Soviet Union, America's Cold War adversary, would have stayed silent if they sniffed a hint of foul play? Sure, the idea that the moon landing was faked in a Hollywood studio might seem enticing, maybe even a fun plot for a movie, but when it comes to the actual science, evidence, and geopolitical context, there is no room for doubt. 